welcome to another up close video. Today's one is for Tonic Showcase number 22, which is called Pot of Happiness, and it creates this sort of three dimensional flower pot that can be used for other occasions as well that has a pop up mechanism inside it so a little sentiment can pop up. But I'm sure you can actually change it so it's not just a sentiment on the pop up thing as well. You could actually put some of the die cut elements or stamped images and stuff from your stash as well. I think they'd look fantastic as the the kind of pop-up element that gets hidden um, and as well as doing this up close video there will also be a construction video going up around the same time as this one um, to give you a full in-depth construction of how this goes together it's not too tricky to put together but there is that internal mechanism to create the pop-up and I thought it would be much more beneficial for me to do um, a whole video on it rather than like squish it in at the end of this video so there is a complete video of me making the ice cream cone version of this um, pot of happiness so um, stay tuned or make sure to check out that one if you do get this set and you really want to know in depth of how it goes together you should get instructions with it on the sheet of um, paper that will come in the folder with everything um, however I got a little bit confused by them so it's probably just me and not actually the instructions but um, I always think it's it's nice to do a video construction as well in case any um, of you like struggle with the instructions so um, yeah, let's start by having a look at the die set. So there are obviously lots of the dies in here that create this gorgeous um, pot of happiness with the pop-up mechanism. And I have in my construction video gone into full detail of which dies you need, how many of them, which ones you cut together to get the different pieces inside each other and stuff. So I will kind of skip over those dies a little other than telling you a couple of other uses or ideas that you could do with them um, using them on your cards and stuff as well. So the first kind of weird one which is part of the pop-up mechanism is this one but this one and the other one that cuts a slit create um, leftover pieces and if you're making multiples of these in different colours and stuff keep those leftover pieces because I've got a card example to show just using up those little scrap pieces and it was actually all scraps just left over from uh, what I've been making so I'll show you that at the end as well but that's like the first sort of weird one that's part of the um, construction and this one is also another one as well that cuts the slit and you've got this wide area of metal and these weird areas of metal here so that it makes it much easier for you to be able to line these up within the dies when you're cutting them so um, those are like two of the dies that create the sort of mechanism piece that are kind of just for that really um, this is part of the mechanism as well so is this one and actually these two I mean they are just sort of like a long strip with loads of score lines on but you could use these on your cards as well to create a little border strip and maybe do it out of satin mirror card or normal mirror card don't fold any of it just keep it as a border strip on a card with the score lines in and it will give sort of like um, a modern grounding for some little elements to sit on or for you to build a flower arrangement off of or for a sentiment to sit on or something so you definitely can use these these two within your card making as well then the next one that's also part of the mechanism is this one um, which you could do something with on a card as well you could figure out a cool way of using this what about if you have made um, a decorated pencil for example you could cut this out then you could um, sort of push the middle section together a little bit and stick it slightly closer together so it's sort of bowed up a little bit and then this piece has got two slits here so it would bow outwards and then you could slip a pencil in there um, to you know attach it to a notebook to give it to somebody as a present if it's one that you've decorated you could use it to um, maybe slide a paper clip onto that you might have decorated or um, I don't know clip something onto something else I think even though it's a weird looking die that is meant for the mechanism there could be other ways of using it for something else as well so that's another sort of uh, one that might not be useful for that many other things you also have this one which is the side of the pot um, but you don't actually have to put sides on the pot if you don't want to I have on all three of mine just because I, I think it looks more finished and stuff but I don't think you have to actually put the sides on it uh, but that is like a side piece you could um, 
just turn this into a pen pot if you wanted to. You could use the outside of this like largest one. You could use two of these, one of the bottom and two of these pieces that create the rim around the top of the plant pot and just have it as a small little plant pot that you could put pens in on your desk. So even though this isn't one that we might want to use on our cards, we could definitely use it with some of the other elements and adapt the design of the pop-up idea and just use it to create a pot with. And then speaking of that, this is the one that is like the rim of the flower pot or the top of the ice cream cone. Um, but you could also use this as like a belly band to hold some papers together. You could use it, um, create some kind of like flip flap thing with magnets on and put it in your memory books and stuff. There's all sorts of ways of using this kind of a thing as well because it's basically just a rectangle with two score lines in it. So you could turn that into other different elements too. Um, this is the base of your like flower pot which is basically just a rectangle with two score lines here so again that could be for some other kind of a project as well maybe you want to have little flappy up kind of elements and have them all layered up on top of each other like one of those um old like photo albums or recipe card books where they kind of all flip one way and flip the other way you could do something like that with this and use this as the sort of um hinge mechanism and stick it with by that by that hinge and do something with that so even though that is the base of the box you could do something else with that um and then i think those are most of the elements that you probably wouldn't use on your cards but all of the rest of this some of the elements that are left here are still part of the actual box but they could be used for other things as well so this one is to make the mechanism you cut one of those slits into it and then this kind of houses your sentiment and it slides down into it to protect it inside of the box but this by itself without using the piece that cuts the slot in it can actually just be used as a pocket it will give you like a little three dimensional pocket that's about three millimeters um, in depth this is the glue tab here the outside ones are the glue tabs and then the next one in is kind of like the side of this little pocket that it creates and it would be the shape of a flower pot so you could use this on the inside of a card I think a gift card would fit in there nicely but you could also use it on the outside of your card and turn it into a small um, flower pot um, pocket on a card and have something else that comes out of it maybe you want to create one of the flowers that's in here and have it as a separate element that could be removed off of the card out of a flower pot on the front of the card I didn't actually do any cards like that so that's why I wanted to mention this idea to you but I do think that would be um, a fun way of using this um, and I'm sure there are other ways that you could use this as well what about like um, a popcorn container it kind of looks like the shape of a popcorn container cut it out of some red and white stripy card or use your alcohol pens to create that striped effect on it maybe you have um, a scalloped edged die in your collection you could give it that scalloped edge top as well and turn it into a popcorn container and also the oval element that's in here is like the perfect sort of sentiment it would have said popcorn on it but you can have the oval sentiment on there instead of it saying popcorn it would say one of the sentiments so I do think there's loads of different ways of using this as like a pocket element whether it's inside a card whether it's on a memory book or whether it is like the front um, focal design of your card as well you can definitely use this and you can obviously combine it with the um, the decorative panels that are designed to decorate the front of the actual flower pot it would be a tight squeeze on the front of there but you definitely could fit them on there if you wanted to as well depending what design you're going for so that is that die which is obviously part of making the flower pot but you could use it in other ways as well then the main kind of dies that look like the flower pot here this one is the one that creates the front of and back of the flower pot so if you did want to just use um, the bits and pieces to create like a pen pot or something um, this would be the piece that you would use and that's just your flower pot shape but again you could use this whole flower pot and maybe combine it with um, this one because it's already cut for you but snip off the um, the sort of at the score lines and create the top portion of your flower pot and then just create a really large flower pot on your card or in a memory book or on a scrapbook page or you know wherever you might want to use it you can definitely just use these elements you also have the next size sort of flower pot down which is designed to work with the two decorative panels but again you could use it with that rectangle and turn it into an actual flower pot on a project too um, and then the two decorative designs that you have to go inside um, the sort of front panel this one is a lovely lattice design which you could definitely use elsewhere in different projects and you could um, 
cut the design once, move the die back down, slot it in, cut it again and create a much larger background. What about even like cutting it four times and creating a larger piece that you could then use as a stencil to add some Nouveau paste or something to your project or to just use uh, your Nouveau mousse or something through it to add a little bit of metallic kind of finish to something. Um, but this one is actually designed to make the pot of happiness look like an ice cream cone, um, which is fantastic. I really love the ice cream cone version, but you can also snip into this when you cut it and just have like um, a random mesh sort of piece as well which I also used um, in conjunction with some of the other elements that make ice cream so that is one of the decorative panels and then the other one is a beautiful floral one which says you are blooming lovely on it and it's got multiple like daisy like flowers on there a few swirls a little bit of foliage I think there's just one leaf up here and the, oh, there's one leaf down here as well and there's also a little tulip in there too um, so a really lovely swirly fancy kind of one that works perfectly on the front of the flower pot if you're turning it into a flower pot looks really nice on that and the, obviously the punny sentiment goes along with flowers as well but if you were turning any of those other dyes into a flower pot somewhere you could definitely use this one as like the decorative element on the front of it then the other piece that is part of the actual flower pot is the pop-up sentiment. So this is the actual pop-up panel that would go up and down and poke out the top of the flower pot when you move the lever at the back of it. And you can actually put two different sentiments into this or you can um, be like really imaginative and use this as an anchor point to put other things on to make them hide within um, the actual mechanism as well. You do have to be a little bit wary of... Um, if anything is hanging too far over the top of this oval it might still be visible when the pop-up is down um, but I'll show you that on my ice cream one um, there are a few little bits sticking up because I added extra things to this however it doesn't give away what the pop-up is so I don't think it looks um, too bad I think it kind of looks quite nice just to have those little elements poking up so um, you can definitely have a play with what other things you might want to put onto this um, oval element and you might even have other oval sentiments in your stash as well or definitely any of your stamps or any of your um, alphabet dies and stuff um, you could definitely use onto this too but the two sentiments that you get to fit inside there are have a cool birthday which obviously goes perfectly for the ice cream but I've actually used this on um, a space themed um, pot of happiness as well so I'll show you that later um, but this is a really lovely sentiment with like that straight element in the centre with the word cool and then it's got a few swirls to sort of combine um, the have a and birthday words into it. And there isn't actually an outside to this. If you want this to be an oval sentiment, like I was just saying for the popcorn box idea, if you did that, um, you would cut this pop-up piece with that sentiment and then you just have to snip off this bit here um, to get it into an oval shape. Or you might be lucky enough to have an oval in your stash. That is the perfect dimension, but ovals are quite difficult to... Um, uh, cross-pollinate really because they're often different dimensions but that that's how um, I got mine as separate sentiments if you do want it as a separate oval element then the other sentiment that you get is um, enjoy your day which is a slightly more spread out kind of sentiment and it's not attached in too many places so um, one of the things or one of the uh, sparks of inspiration that made me want to make a space themed pot of happiness was this one because I I was thinking how could I get this kind of elliptical shape that could be the ring around a planet because you get a circle in here which is what I was thinking of as a planet and you can actually cut these two together these two are better than the other one um, the uh, birthday one because there are less points joining it so you don't have to cut as many things off of it but you can cut the two of these together and obviously snip off this long portion and also snip off the words from the center of it and then you actually get a really skinny like elliptical shape that you can use as a ring around a planet I'll sh I will show you that later as well but I just wanted to explain where I got that from and how that idea kind of formed but that is like the the second sentiment that is designed to fit within that but you do also get a circular sentiment which is what gave me the idea of a planet and when I held the two of them together I was like oh that really looks like a planet with the ring going around it so that's um you know how I came up with that um 
but you have this circle sentiment which says hello you and obviously this it it's designed to go in the circle because it has the extra metal but nothing about it means that you have to cut it in a circle you can actually just cut this and then trim it out in whatever shape you want to as well and i've shown you that on a couple of my samples that i will show you later too and you can use the fall away pieces from this word as well so um the only pieces that are slightly fiddly are the um two o's so the o in hello and the o in you because they're in uh, two separate parts but they are pretty simple to stick back together but that's like the fiddliest part if you wanted to use any of the leftover over pieces um but yeah it's designed to go inside the circle and then you can use this circle to be one of the elements coming out the back of the um the pop-up pot or you could actually put that as your sentiment that reveals itself as well what i was saying earlier about making sure something doesn't hang over too much um above this oval element you might want to actually hang that down so it's sort of overlapping more like this and not sticking right above the oval but if you didn't want um, these parts visible as well and you wanted it to be a circular sentiment and nothing to do with an oval you could definitely stick that on top of it and then trim off these pieces as well to make it a circular kind of element then going along with the circle the ice cream idea is based off of this circle and they've given you the gorgeous um, drippy sauce and they've also given you an extra um, piece of metal that fits perfectly inside the sauce that gives you the hundreds and thousands cut into it which I think is fantastic and if you got hold of the most recent stamp club which was stamp club number 18 which was called delicious desserts which now should be available in the US because I know um, it was a slightly later launch than in the UK um, if you got that one or if you do decide to get that one I will link it below um, it works perfectly in conjunction with this I've actually used some of the wafers and the flaky um, to sort of give extra decoration to my ice cream version as well so um, definitely worth investing in that if you want to really go for the ice cream version of this because you could definitely use some of the other elements from that um, on this as well like the cherry or the whipped cream or the Mr Whippy ice cream as well so um, definitely worth looking at what other sets you have to change this into different themes as well so that is the ice cream with the the sauce that goes on top of it then uh, let's show you the other sentiments so you've also got three more sentiments which are designed to go on the um, top like rim of the flower pot so it would sort of sit on that front rectangular portion that is created with this die so it's designed to fit in there but obviously if you're using any of these elements to create cards with perfect little sentiment as well um, and you have the outside rectangle to cut three different sentiments out the first one says life is sweet um, again you could use those fall away pieces I didn't actually use it on any of my projects but I used the um, the rectangular version on my ice cream cone it looks really good on the ice cream cone so you've got life is sweet then you also have lots of love which is really gorgeous actually um a really like fine sort of a font really lovely and then you also have thank you as well which is one of their debossing sentiments with three little flowers on there too and actually there is some deboss detail on these two sentiments the life is sweet has a rectangular kind of indent um, above and below and then lots of love has one uh, across the bottom as well if you do like that sort of debossing finish they have also got it combined into them even though they're a die cut sentiment then you also get um, this die which I'm not actually sure where it is supposed to go or what it is supposed to be for and I think this was the only die that I didn't use but um thinking about it now it could have it could be like a stem to add extra flowers on if you didn't want the stem with the leaves on or you could cut your own flame and turn it into a candle because I think that pattern really looks like a candle to me um or you could just use it as extra decoration really you could just add um little stripes to bits and pieces as well with it so i'm not 100 percent sure what it's designed for but i'm sure we'll find out at some point in tonic's um official unboxing and we'll have a look and see what that is for but it's, it's a cute little die anyway whatever you use it for so you also have that one then um to go along with the sort of second 
main theme so you've got the ice cream theme but you also have the flower theme as well so you have the gorgeous stem with two leaves on the bottom which you can use in conjunction with the tulip or the kind of daisy sort of flower so you have the tulip which has some gorgeous debossing detail into there and it looks really fantastic cut from the Craft Perfect textured cardstock because these debossing areas kind of squash the texture so you have the texture around the outsides and then you have the squashed sort of smooth texture on the inside um, but you could definitely like um, cut these from white and add colour with your alcohol pens or your coloured pencils or watercolours um, and turn them into really sort of beautiful botanically kind of looking um, flowers as well so you could really make that look a bit more realistic too rather than being stylized. but it goes perfectly on top of the stem you also have the gorgeous large eight petaled daisy which again looks fantastic on top of the stem so just think about that for your cards as well beautiful florals you also have a smaller flower which is great just by itself but I, I was also using it in the center of the larger flower and then you also have the center of the flower as well um, and I was using that right in the center there so the little flower just gave a little bit of extra detail and actually to match this because um, I had stuck like a yellow centre in the middle of the flowers. To match that on the smaller flowers, I was just using a regular hole punch to give that circle element to the smaller flowers as well. And then the final two dies from this set after 20 minutes of me talking um, are two little triple dies that give three little stars or three little flowers and you could either cut these into a panel for example the one that is supposed to um, go around those three rectangular sentiments you could cut this into there um, a couple of times and create a little starry panel to go on one of your projects this was also another reason why I wanted to do a space themed one because you already had the stars in here um, or you could do it with the flowers as well or you could use one of these mini flowers in the centre of that small flower as well um, or you can just use them anywhere to sort of scatter around and decorate and actually those little flowers look really lovely on top of these flowers in um, this sentiment panel as well so um, hopefully I've gone through that in enough detail and if you want a lot of detail on the actual main dies and their actual purpose of creating the flower pot then watch the construction video because I go through them in um, much more detail in that video. So I'll be back in a second to show you my three pots of happiness and then three cards as well. So here is my first little pot of happiness and this one I did like a flower pot, a little pink flower pot with a gorgeous selection of flowers in there as well. We've got three tulips, two of like the large kind of daisies and then a little cluster of three of the littler daisy sort of flowers as well. I really love how this one turned out and it says you are blooming lovely and then it's got um, the sort of waste from these pieces as the little flowers on the actual design as well and I decided to use these because um, I've shown a few times different ideas I think I did it with a circle and a heart so far where I have been like die cutting tons of them and then I'm left with the waste pieces um, of like the heart aperture and stuff and all I do is take my long bladed pair of scissors and snip around them to put them in like a wonky quadrilaterally kind of shape and then I use them on a project so I thought why not do it with these little triples as well so you've got the little triple flower apertures and then I just use my scissors to do a rough kind of quadrilaterally shape around them and then I backed it onto white card and then trimmed around it with a little white border and I've just done it to create um, a little decorative feature I could have done it all the way around if I'd wanted to as well but I decided to just do it along the front but the probably the thing you've been waiting for is what's this pop-up mechanism and how does it work well on the back of your flower pot you have got this little portion here which I showed you how to do in the construction video and all you do is slide that up so this is what I'll be doing from the back and then your little sentiment appears so it says enjoy your day so it says you are blooming lovely enjoy your day and then it's got um, the gorgeous bouquet of flowers so you don't have to have the sentiment out it just looks lovely without the sentiment but you can also pull that sentiment out as well and if you wiggle the um, the piece in the right position um, so the cardstock kind of catches you can actually 
let it stay up as well so you could actually have that on your mantelpiece with the pop-up sentiment visible too um but also that you don't have to use the pop-up at all you could just make it as a gorgeous um pot for example if you you know you just had those flowers in it it could still be a pen pot if you don't have this whole mechanism in the hole in the back you could still use that as a pen pot and have it beautifully decorated with the flowers and then have your pens in the front of it as well so you can definitely just use the uh, front panel and then a solid back panel the bottom the sides and then that sort of top lip or rim piece of the flower pot and just create a little flower pot pen pot as well but I really love the addition of the flowers and actually I was going to get the die sets out to show you but I forgot and I can't bother to go and get them um but I was going to say if you had the any of the flower dies that tonic have done they have done those whimsical blooms that came out with the watering can they would look fantastic on this as well um especially the ones that stood up like these flowers rather than the ones that were sort of more uh, horizontal and also there were the um, Susan Garden Club flowers, they would look fantastic in these. Or also there was another launch as well, um, I didn't do the prep for it though so I have no idea what the names of them were. But they were like uh, ones that you could make like poppies and things, I can't remember what the other ones were. Um, but yeah there was also those uh, die sets as well, so if I can find any of them I will link them below the video along with this showcase as well. Um, and also on my blog too, so if you want little picture links you can go over to my blog. But yeah I will link them in case um, you're interested in any of those and if I can find them for sale still. But I really love how this turned out and I suppose this is probably the most... Um, obvious way to use them is to create a gorgeous floral arrangement because it's a, it's kind of a flower pot sort of design but they also gave you all of the elements to turn it into an ice cream cone as well even down to the latticey um detail on the front so you might notice this is not in there and this is not in the die set because i've just gone through it and i didn't show you them um but this these two are from the newest um stamp club which was stamp club number 18 which was the delicious desserts and that's where i've got the um the gorgeous wafer and the flaky from so if you're interested in doing more ice cream themed ones definitely get that because um it's got like the mr whippy ice cream and the cherry and a banana as well and you know there's loads of other bits and pieces that would make this go further um and you you have the different um scoop of ice cream and the different sauce to go on top of it as well so even if you didn't want to use the scoop of ice cream and you wanted them all to be balls of ice cream like this you have the different size drippy sauce that you could then match with a circle die from your stash and create more of these and then you have them in different sizes um and also without sprinkles on as well so that would look cool although, although you can do this one with or without sprinkles as well and this one i cut the sprinkles into the dark brown cardstock but um you don't have to if you don't want to you could just cut the sprinkles out and stick those tiny little sprinkles on if you wanted to do that as well or i was also thinking about um using like a fine tip nozzle or uh, squeezing some nouveau drops out and using a craft pick to apply it into those areas as well so it would make them look shiny and three-dimensional i think that would also look fantastic too but this is also the one that i did in the construction video so if you want to see exactly how i put this one together um then you can go and look at that and you might notice here there are little bits poking up above it but look it doesn't actually detract from it even though that is part of the pop-up um you can't really tell that you know that's you can't see what the pop-up is basically it's just little bits of it but the actual pop-up says hello you and then it says life is sweet so you've got hello you life is sweet um this does get a little bit caught if you're not careful with it just because of these bits so um i explained in the construction video i wanted something a little bit different to go on here so i've mounted all of these bits and pieces onto that oval shape and these bits that were getting caught are from um this lattice design i just snipped some of the lattice out the center and put it behind the sentiment but if you uh, stand it upright it doesn't get caught it's just when you're sort of holding it like that it kind of gets caught but um i really love how this one turned out i think it's really fantastic and again this could be a pen pot it doesn't have to be the pop-up mechanism i mean how lovely would it be to have an, a, a lovely ice cream cone pen pot on your desk I think it would just look really nice it would cheer you up every time you look at it um so I really love that one as well um and then what shall I show you next 
I'll show you the matching cards next. So, I decided to do a matching card to go with the flower pot. So you can see I've used the same colours of cardstock and um, kind of the same, sort of the same amount of flowers. I did end up adding a second one to this one um, and there's only two little flowers rather than three. And I have added some of the smaller little flowers as well. But anyway, it, it's a lovely matching or coordinating kind of card to go with it. Um, and it just shows how lovely these flowers work on your cards as well. And the background you'll probably notice is that um, lattice from the ice cream cone. I just cut it twice. So I cut it once with like the, you can just about see the, the join between the two of them. It's just in there. Um, I cut, cut it once and like the diagonal was going up this way. And then I flipped the die the other way so that it the diagonal or the chamfredness of the edge was going the opposite direction um, so there are like solid sections, there's a bit under there and there's a little bit down here but where you place your elements can really hide that as well and you can't really tell that that's two separate ice cream cone panels cut into the back of it it looks like it was just like a long strip decorative die so I think that looks really lovely when you can do stuff like that um, I really like how that one turned out and I think it's really nice to have a matching card to go with something as well and then obviously um, I wanted to do a matching card to go with the ice cream cone as well so I have got this as the matching card to go with that so it's like mint choc chip ice cream like the actual cone is and then I've done very similar elements all over this there is um, two pieces of this latticey stuff so this kind of design and I just snipped around the edges to take it out of that sort of frame design and put those behind here and then I've layered up multiple scoops of ice cream with the um, dark chocolate sauce on there and then the white um, pen through the sprinkles I don't know if I just said that actually I, I just took a white gel pen and drew through the sprinkles so they looked white um, you could definitely map them on to um, you know cut the sauce just solid from white and put it behind but it saves a little bit of um, die cutting if you just draw through it with a pen but if you don't like drawing through it with pen or you don't have a white gel pen or you want it to be a different colour to a pen that you've got you can definitely put the colour cardstock behind it um, but also actually if you're doing the pen method it's also quite nice because um, you could do multicoloured hundreds and thousands then as well um, and you wouldn't have to put tiny little bits of card behind each one of them if depending on what colour of ice cream you had you might want to stick white card behind it and then colour through with the pens so that they're true to the actual colour but you could definitely do multicoloured hundreds and thousands on there as well then um, but yeah this is the, the matching card and then I've just used some of the waste pieces from that um, latticey kind of design because it just looks like crumbled up bits of wafer or like chunks of chocolate or something um, I just really love how that looks and then I've used the lots of love sentiment and I did actually just trim around that with my scissors you can definitely use the coordinating rectangle that I did use on the life is sweet one but if not you can just trim around it with your scissors as well and it still looks just as lovely and it's got that debossing line along the bottom of it, that lots of love one. So those are the two that I've done with matching cards. And then as I've mentioned throughout the video, I wanted to do a space themed one. So this is my little space themed one. So I just used some really dark navy blue cardstock for the pot. And then um, I have used, I've tried to mostly just use elements from this month's die set. But I had to include the moon, which is from... I've got it here to remind me. It is from Stamp Club number four, this large crescent moon. So um, you could definitely, you know, bring that in or even this moon or even the small little crescent moon as well. Um, so definitely have a look through your stash if you do get hold of this and think of other um, occasions that you could do this for because there's loads of elements that are really useful for the, that kind of thing as well. And then I had almost finished it and I was thinking it needs something else and I was thinking of adding one of these little monsters as an alien um, but I wasn't sure whether because I, I quite liked the sort of um, um, modern or simplistic kind of look where just the navy blue and the goldy colours was giving but I decided to add one in the end so I went for the um, Stamp Club number 13 Little Monsters and I think this one does kind of look like an alien with his three eyes so I just had to add him onto there as well and I tried to colour him with navy blue colours so it went with the sort of navy blue galaxy kind of theme and then I gave him more like the goldy kind of coloured uh, features and stuff that I had used to colour the planets in and the colours of Nouveau pens that I was using for that kind of um, goldish kind of 
planety look that was going with the Aspen Gold Mica Mist that I was using were 466 and 476, um, the Nuva Alcohol pens. That's what I was using to colour the, the planets in. And that worked really nicely with um, the Aspen... It's called Aspen, isn't it? Yeah, Aspen Gold Mica Mist. I love this one. Um, it looks so funny because all of the gold settles out of the solution because this one's solution is actually clear and then it just has that beautiful uh, gold mica in there as well. Um, and if you don't want to spray it, I was actually just tipping some out and splatting it with a paintbrush and also using it to paint in different elements as well. Like I painted in his wings and his tongue, a little bit on his eyeballs and stuff. Um, and I think it just turned out really, really nicely. And the gold drop that I used on here, um, and there's a few blobs elsewhere, but I mostly used it on the planet. This was the mustard gold um, metallic crystal drop. I really like this gold. It's a very um, antique -y kind of gold, and it goes perfectly with the Aspen Gold Mica Mist. You can see here, this is the, the ring around the planet, which I told you how to create earlier. And then I've got my circular planet on there as well. I also use the centre of the flower, um, and I just I punched a few holes in it with a small little hole punch to kind of match the moon, um, to make small little moons or little planets sort of floating off in the distance as well. Obviously this isn't, you know, real. There's not a massive crescent moon compared to a tiny little planet with a ring. But I just, you know, I, I was just trying to go with some of the elements that were in the die set. And I thought, even though that is supposed to be like sauce on a ball of ice cream, it kind of could be some cool... Um, formation on a wacky planet as well it could be like i don't know it could be representing half the planet's water and half the planet's land or something and it goes in that weird kind of pattern but i just thought it would make a cool funky kind of planet um, and then obviously I've got my gorgeous little alien there as well. And there's also a few elements added on little tiny thin strips of acetate so that they're kind of floating off in the distance as well. So there's a few little stars, which are the ones from the little triple star die. And I've added sort of stars elsewhere as well. And then... Um, to attach all of this together I put the crescent moon on attaching it at the bottom and then like this planet here is actually on an acetate piece as well but I also anchored it to the top of the moon too to kind of make it a little bit more sturdy it kind of stays better like that and then the pop-up element for this one this little fella is sitting on the pop-up I wanted to add him to the pop-up and you can actually look from the back I know it's a bit messy on the inside but I've stuck him to the back of the oval that pops up and when you get yours home and you start making them, if you make a prototype one, um, you can have a look at it and see what elements you think you could stick to the pop-up element and that wouldn't um, interfere with the mechanism of it going inside the little pocket that's in there as well. But anyway, he sort of pops up and he says, have a cool birthday, because I thought, you know, cool goes with ice cream, but it can also just be a cool space-themed birthday as well. So I thought that would go quite nicely. And I was thinking... I gave up on the idea because I thought it would have been um, too tricky and I wasn't sure if I could properly pull it off. But this um, elliptical kind of shape, I was thinking you could add a top bit to it and turn it into a spaceship as well if you did want to go really far with this theme. And whether you had it as the front thing here with the spaceship and the alien sitting on top of it or whether you you know put it further in the background as well, you could actually turn that into some kind of spaceship as well, like bring some windows coming around the front of it and one of the like the dome on the top of it as well or something. Um, yeah, and actually thinking about it, you could turn it that way, give it little fins and turn it into a rocket as well it could actually be a rocket shape and um, so there's definitely lots of other ways of altering the dies within this die set to turn it into different themes as well and I thought I just had to show you one as a space theme because even though it is a plant pot it still really works um, and you don't really think of it as a plant pot if it's got the moon and some planets coming out of it so I really like that one too and then um, if you look at the colours of all of these so I've got navy blue I've got pink and I've got craft card when um, you cut the bits and pieces out, I was telling you earlier in the video, that little rectangular piece, you get three of them for each pot that you make because you, you get two out of this back piece and one out of the interior piece. Um, and I was putting all of my dies away and I thought, oh, I wonder if I could turn that into a card. And you can. So I just used all those little rectangles, put them all down the front of a card and then this Hello You is actually the waste from this. 
So the waste from this little banner that I created you can actually use as a sentiment on your card as well. So I just wanted to show how you can actually just use all of the leftover pieces that have actually no use um, and turn them into a card as well. So depending how many of these pots you're making, whether they're all the same colour. I mean if they were all the same colour, maybe you were doing a load of ice cream cones and you had a load of craft ones left. What about making some kind of like parquet flooring pattern um, out of all the craft card pieces for a card as well? That would look fantastic. Um, and then I've just done some like white gel pen detail to tie in with the white sentiment as well and you can see here how I've just uh, placed those two pieces next to each other for both of the O's in there as well. So I really really love how this one turned out too and it's just using the waste pieces but I've really enjoyed this uh, showcase. I sometimes with pop-up things you're never really um, quite sure of like other uses that you could use them for as well but the fact that this is a pop-up in the front of the box I know if you have the pop-up in there you I mean you could put pens in here but obviously you'd have to make sure they fall to either side and don't interfere with this middle mechanism but the fact that it creates this gorgeous little pot can it you don't have to use the pop-up in it you can just use it for your pens as well so I mean if I get a few aqua flows here as long as you don't like overload it you could definitely use that as a pen pot on your desk and still have the pop up as well so I really do like this one I think it is a really fantastic design and I think it is so versatile for all of the different things that you can do with it as well I'm sure there are loads of things that I'm forgetting about um, that have come out with um, tonics die sets stamp clubs designers choices all that kind of stuff that would um, go in these flower pots really nicely um, and make them into even more different occasions as well so I hope you enjoyed this up close video if you are interested in getting hold of showcase number 22 which is called pot of happiness there will be affiliate links to it below the video and on my blog post as well and I'll try and link as many of the um, extra bits, there's only been three, um, stamp clubs that I've used um, for the Monster, the Moon and the Wafers and the Flaky. I don't think the Moon one is available anymore but I'm pretty sure the Monsters are still available and this should still be available because it's only just come out as well. So um, all of those links will be below the video as well. And don't forget, shortly after this video goes out, um, I will be putting out the construction video as well. So if you've ordered this and then you want to see how it goes together, you can watch the construction. Um, or if you are thinking about getting it and want to see how easy the construction is, then you know it's there for you to watch in case you want to um, you know, make sure that you'll be able to put it together yourself as well. So really hope you enjoyed the video, I certainly enjoyed making all of these and I think I'm going to have to make myself an ice cream cone one to have on my desk because I really like it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye! <laughs>